I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so negative on Jericho. I know he doesn't deserve it, but I'm I'm just like Excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. I'm y'all, it's KMB, the sexy ninja, in the place to be. Oh, my bones, my bones. Sorry, old, tired. <laughs> this is the New World Podcast, brother. We're talking about Collision slash Rampage. September 6, 2024, we got Tony and Nigel to start off the show for Collision in Chicago because it's all out weekend, all out weekend, ah, ah. <laughs> we got a qualifying match for the Continental Championship. It's going to be a fatal four-way at all out. We have Lance Archer versus Mark Briscoe. He gets bloody in the beginning. I mean... Really bloody. <laughs> and uh, th this was such an awesome match, man. I, I really love Mark Briscoe. I really want I, I really want everything for Mark Briscoe because he, you know, he's gone through so much and whatnot. He's got that Ring of Honor championship. And he just he deserves the world and he won this match, bloody or not. And so he will go on to face Okada with two more to qualify tonight. We got Jericho. But Ishii was attacked. Chair over the head. I go. Then we have the Grizzled Young Vets. Ugh, grizzled Young Vets versus the Iron Savages. Grizzled Young Vets win. <laughs> they grit the teeth. <laughs> Here comes FTR. And they're looking for a fight. A fight. So they go and they take on the Grizzled Young Vets and they retreat. So. We're, we're building their story there. Uh, Lexi's with Orange Cassidy. And Orange Cassidy's like, yeah, you know, I got a big match tonight. But I hope my boy Ishii's all right. Because the conglomeration needs to stick together. Mm. Uh, then we have that Orange Cassidy next versus Brian Keith. And uh, Orange Cassidy did say he wants to beat down Brian Keith. And he does. And he gets the win. And he will qualify. So he's the third contender contender in that um fatal four-way for the um continental championship jericho backstage and give less but he stole orange cassidy's backpack because orange cassidy said i'll get the money i'll get the championship it'll all be in the backpack but jericho stole it so i don't know i'm sorry i'm sorry for being so negative on jericho i know he doesn't deserve it but i'm i'm just like you know, I, I I'll I'll try to stop as best as I as best as I can with Jericho. It's just as soon as I see him, it's just automatically all right, next. <laughs> I will try to be better, folks, for you, because I don't want to be a negative person. But when I see his face, I get negative. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, Lexi is with uh, Mercedes Monet and Camille. Big match. She has with Sheeta this uh, all-out pay-per-view at this all-out pay-per-view. You know. <laughs> Outrunners. The Outrunners versus, uh, I'm just going to say Squash Gang. <laughs> but the Outrunners got their first win. Their first win here on Collision. I was like, yay, the Outrunners. Because they're, they're so, such a interesting team. And I'm glad they got the win. And then Renee had to sit down with Chris and Willow. And their big Chicago street fight this weekend, and it gets intense. And Willow, it's just an intense interview. You should watch it because I really liked what these two women did here, setting the stage for their fight at All Out. I'm I'm really excited to see what these two can do, and what what they're gonna do in that match. So Takeshita, another qualifying match for the Continental Championship Fatal Four Way. Takeshita versus the Beast Mortos. Takeshita for the win, man. I. I love me some Takeshita. I really do. Uh, Don's on commentary, but um, you know what's really funny is they're really not pushing this whole family thing anymore. <laughs> the Don Callis family. You know, it was funny as I'm wearing one family member, but it's my my dude. It's my dude. Yeah. I'm like, where's Hobbs? <laughs> who, who is the other member? And 
I'm trying to figure out who's the other member in the Don Cows family. Uh, there's Takeshita. There was Hobbs. Oh, Kyle Fletcher. Kyle Fletcher. Why can't I? Why did I forget Kyle Fletcher? But no, then was not there somebody else? Wasn't he trying to recruit Orange Cassidy? Like they totally abandoned that whole story there. Then uh, we go on to uh, Harley and a Soraya promo. I love Harley and Soraya promos. Uh, Harley with the constantly chiming in type of deal. I, I, I love it where she's just behind Har um, Soraya and Soraya saying things. And she's like, ah, ah, you know, these little quick things. And I, I just love these two. I really do love these two. Then we get a Mariah promo. Then we get uh, Peraza versus Sheeta. Sheena gets the win. Sheena gets the win. She has a big match. But guess who comes out? Mercedes Monet and Camille. And Mercedes Monet ac accidentally hits Camille with uh, the kendo stick. Um, but Sheena is going to whoop that ass, I think. I Hopefully. We'll, we'll see. Knock on something. Uh, FTR interview. They're like, top guys out. Pretty much. Pretty much the same thing. They're going to face the Grizzles and Vets next week. I was like, man, you could build this to a pay-per-view. But just saying. Because Wrestle's Dream is next, uh, October 12th. You know, we could build it to that. We could. But we could, you know, there, there could be some potential with this story. Uh, BCC and the Bastard Puck. Puck. Puck, 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 Puck. I don't know. Versus the Elite in the main event of Collision. And it bleeds over into Rampage. <laughs> Um, but before this match, we have Lexi with the acclaimed and, uh, MXM interrupts. I don't know. I really don't like the whole nut up or shut up acclaimed. I, 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 I don't know what it, I don't know what it is. It's, it's just not appealing to me. It's just not. Hell, I think MXM was more entertaining in this segment than these and then the acclaimed. I I, I got to be honest because I I really do like the acclaimed, but this whole approach of just what they're trying to do, I'm like, are you heels? Are you what are you? Like exactly what are you? So yeah. Um. Then uh, right here, uh, Blackpool Comic Club and the Bastard versus the Elite. Fun match, bleeding over into Rampage. Uh, but uh, BCC and Pack. Get the win. This was an awesome match, man. This was a way to end the show. Well, end the show and start a show. <laughs> then we go into Queen Aminata versus uh, the Squash Gang. <laughs> Pretty much. But the Queen gets the win. Then um, we get a, a Daniel Garcia and MJF package. Then we go into uh, Dustin, Sammy, and Hologram versus Dark Order. Really fun match. And uh, Dusty, Sammy, and Hologram get the win. And after that, we get a bang, bang, gang promo. Guns up, ladies and gentlemen. Guns up. Um, Gates of Agony and Brian Cage interrupt. So we're going to get a match with, with uh, these two teams soon. I'm very excited. Uh, then we go into our fashion fight or whatever they called it. And we got the House of Black versus MXM. And House of Black gets us the win. Okay, man. This this match was okay. Uh, it was fun for what it was. But uh, and then we all... And I, oh, yeah. Here, I skipped over my notes. Lexi had an interview with uh, Top Flight. And uh, Undisputed Kingdom interrupted. And uh, Shane Taylor Promotions. And, uh, I, I don't like the outfits for Top Flight. I don't like this whole approach of, like, let's put them in actual... Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if, um, pilot... Air flight attendants. I, I just don't like it. I'm like, I, I don't. I, I think it's kind of stupid, to be really honest. I see them with the suit and ties. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, overall, uh, Rampage was quick. Collision was good. But overall, I give it a solid three out of five. I will say my match of the night is uh, BCC and the Bastard versus the Elite. This is I really enjoyed this match, and the fact that it ended a show and bleeded into another show. I just don't understand why 
you got to do the separation of the two, like of Collision and Rampage. Why don't you just say Collision, three hour special event? You know, because it's kind of silly when you're like in the main event and you're like, we're on Rampage now. I don't, I don't know. I think it's stupid. But who am I? Who am I? I'm just a wrestling fan here. I'm just a bitching wrestling fan here. Okay. Uh, Collision, Rampage, September 6, 2024. Tony Nigel to start Collision. Then when we went to Rampage, Daddy Magic joined the commentary team. And that's it. That's all. Tell me what you thought of the show. Drop those comments below. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Share it to your grandma. Share it to your grandma. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB the Sexy Ninja. And remember that the New World Podcast is for life, brother. Yeah.